Welcome to Dan ARG YouTube. Happy Christmas to you, my brothers and sisters. Apostle Alfred Uyinosa, the man with the talk I must be. See make mama and papa elders where they for Nigeria. Time the rich make the take talk come out. He say because something go soon happen for Nigeria. Make I leave you, make you hear from Apostle Alfred. Hello, my brothers and sisters. On a good morning. Merry Christmas. And I wish you all a glorious and prosperous new year. I am not too happy this morning. You can see me wearing a sackcloth. Our fathers and mothers speak out now. Daddies and mommy, elders in various community speak out now. I see war. I really come to make everybody feel happy this morning, but have a strong message to deliver. Daddy and mommies, act now. Our elders for various communities, fathers, speak out now. I see war. War. You don't know Bini. War. You don't know Igbo man. War. You don't know Hausa. War. You don't know Yoruba. War. No know where you from come. The plague of silence. Everybody keep quiet. With the fish, we don't know what's going to happen. With the pretend. I see war. I see bloodshed. I see people wearing sackcloth, judge what I'm wearing this morning. It is time to act now. Our traditional rulers, stakeholders, it is time to act now. Speak out now. I see war. I see war. I see war. Okoe man. War is not a beautiful experience. War is not a beautiful experience. War does not know tribe. I see various ethnic groups beating their drum of war. We don't need war in Nigeria. Stakeholders, our traditional rulers, our chiefs, this is the time to speak. 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 Act now. Listen to the cry of the people. Listen to the cry of the youth. Please. Oh, get here. Middle the year within at the talk this morning. Oh, quo emo say, war is not beautiful. I see, I can sense war everywhere. Speak out now, elders, our traditional chiefs. Our obas, our king, our emirs, our pastors, speak out now. Speak out now. Speak out now. You people are keeping quiet. You people are pretending as if you are not hearing or seeing what is happening or what is about to happen in Nigeria. Something terrible is about to happen in Nigeria. Everybody speak out now. Our traditional rulers, our chiefs, our enoge, our obas, all of you, speak out now. The imams, speak out now. The pastors, the bishop, speak out now. War is not beautiful. We are not rejecting it. We got to pray against it. We got to speak against it now. It is not to reject. It is time to act. It is time to act. The duty of a prophet is to speak out. The duty of the prophet is to alert the people. The duty of the prophet is to let the people know what is about to happen. This is not the time to say we reject it. We, if, if nothing is being done now, it will happen. If everybody keep quiet, this is not a time to play religion. This is not a time to say that me know God, but this is the time we must all come out to speak against what is about to happen. 
our elders speak out now our enige our traditional rulers our pastors our imam speak out now you people are pretending you people are behaving as if you don't know what is about to happen in nigeria <laughs> And a war is going to break out from within. It's going to break out from within. People will fight themselves. Federal government is they are about to instigate problem within a certain region. They are about inst instigating war in a particular region. Everybody speak out now. Don't joke with this message this morning. I am wearing a sackcloth. To let the people know what is about to happen. To know what is about to happen in Nigeria. Everybody just keep quiet now. Everybody paying lip service. Everybody they pretend you don't know what is happening. War is about to break out in Nigeria. Everybody speak out. Fathers, the traditional rulers, the, 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 the Muslim, the Christian. I don't do that. speak out now. Our elders, why are you guys keeping quiet? Elders, why are you guys keeping quiet? Bloodshed, 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 bloodshed. The one we are experiencing now is just lit you. Why keeping quiet? Why keeping quiet? Why keeping quiet? Calamity is about to strike in Nigeria. Our elders are keeping quiet. Our traditional chiefs are keeping quiet. The religious leaders are keeping quiet. You guys are behaving as if you are not hearing or seeing what is about to happen in Nigeria. All of us are covering our mouth like face, like soon I use face mat. Our elders are covering our mouth. All of us are covering our mouth. Our elders. Our fathers, the religious leaders, all of them are covering their mouth like this. All of them are covering their mouth. They know they talk. Our elders, our pastors, our chiefs, Enige, you guys cover your mouth as if you are using a face mat to cover your mouth. They know they talk. Something is about to happen. War does not know tribe. World does not know tribe. World does not ask you, are you a Bini man? World does not ask you, are you an Asian man? World, world does not ask you, or will not ask you, are you an Asian man? Are you a Yoruba man? Are you a Christian? Are you a Muslim? Are you an Urobo? World does not ask question. Everybody speak out now. Traditional rulers speak out now. Religious leaders speak out now. Something is about to happen in Nigeria. God revealed to redeem. God revealed our duty is to stop it. Our duty is to stand against it. I have spoken as I am led. Let those that have ear to hear, let them hear. Let those that have ear to hear, let them hear. I have spoken as I am led. Something terrible is about to happen in the history of Nigeria. Our elders are keeping quiet. Our traditional rulers are keeping quiet. Religious leaders are, are keeping quiet. The stakeholders are keeping quiet. Speak out now. Let's come together to, to say no to this war that is about to break out from Nigeria. 2021. 2021 is not going to be a beautiful year. It will only be a beautiful year when everybody speak against evil right now. Hear this. I am sending the warning. I am sending the trumpet as I am led. 2021 is not going to be a beautiful year. Hear it right now. Yeah, go and write today's date down. Today is 25th of December 2020. Go and write it down. 2021 is not going to be a beautiful year. It's not going to be a beautiful year. That's why I'm wearing a sackcloth now to let everybody know what is about to happen. Our elders, please speak out. Traditional rulers, please speak out. Religious leaders, please speak out. Now. 
No. We shouldn't pretend. We shouldn't pretend. Make we not pretend. So we know the year which they, which they happen for Nigeria. I speak as I am led. I speak as I am led. I speak as I am led. 2021 is not going to be a beautiful year. 2021 is not going to be a beautiful year. What God is revealing to me now is beyond what I am saying. Our elders, people should speak out right now. Traditional rulers, our inigi, our obas, our imam, speak out now. Something is about to happen in the east of Nigeria. War is not beautiful. Oku emose. Oku eno we kenukere. Oku eno we aera aizue. Oku eno aotwe. Oku eno. Something is about to happen. I am speaking as I am led this morning. What God is revealing to me is beyond, is beyond the ordinary. Everybody must rise up to speak against the calamity and disaster that is about to strike in Nigeria. The killings who have been experiencing it just for the child bed, a chip of the child bed. Tip, tip. All the killings we've been experiencing in a small thing is the tip of the hard bed. Tip. I see fathers running away from their children. I see children running away from their houses. I see wives running away from their homes. It is time to act. Traditional rulers. I am saying it again. You guys are keeping quiet. Religious leaders, you guys are keeping quiet, pretending as if you don't know what is happening in Nigeria. I am blowing the trumpet of warning this morning as I am led by Jehovah. I speak as a prophet and a servant of the Most High God. I speak as I am led. You guys kept quiet as if like you are using nose mat to cover your mouth. This is the character of our elders. This is the attitude and the character of our elders right now. You guys cover your mouth. You guys are not talking. 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 I went out this morning. People are, are already using their head to fetch water. No light, no water in the city. People, the, today Christmas, people are in the streets right now, moving from house to house with Jericho to fetch water. As I'm speaking, no light. Something want to happen. Let those that have ear to ear, let them hear. We must speak out now. We must speak against the evil that is about to befall Nigeria. What we have been experiencing, the tip of the iceberg. The tip. The tip of the iceberg. Leaders from the south south. Leaders from southwest. Leaders from out southeast. What are you guys doing? Which one are they do? Which one are they do? Leaders, south, south, southwest. What are you guys doing? On a keep on a, on a cover mouth. Now they talk. Let me tell you, word does not miss house address when it's ready. My duty as an apostle is just to drop the message. This is just but a warning. This is not the time to say we reject it. It's happening already. We must act now. Elders, act now. Daddies and mommy, act now. If we did not react, if we refuse to act, 
heaven will never react. If you refuse to react, heaven will never act. Let those that have ear to hear, let them hear. Something terrible is about to happen. What I see in the realm of the spirit, people running away from their houses. I have spoken as the Lord revealed. Let us put aside our denominational differences and say no to this war. And say no to this war. And say no to this war. We must all wake up and join hands together to say no to this war. Say no to this war. Say no. Say no to this war. Say no. Say no. Say no to this war. Say no to this war. This is not a time to instigate one region against another region. This is not a time for the Igbos to instigate themselves against the Benin. This is not a time for the Benin to instigate Igbo against other regions. This is not a time. This is not a time. This is not a time. This is not a time for the Igbos to instigate Benin against themselves. This is not a time for the Benin to instigate the Igbo against other, uh, other tribe. This is not a time for the Aousa to instigate the Igbos against the Yoruba. This is not a time for the Yoruba to instigate the Aousa against the Igbo. This is not a time for the Yoruba to instigate the Benin against other tribe. This is not a time for the Igbo to instigate themselves, to instigate other tribe against other tribe. This is not a time we don't need war in this country. We don't need war in this country we don't need war i say no to war war is not beautiful the people who have experienced war go and ask them they will tell you that war is not beautiful the people who have who have experienced war go and ask them they will tell you that war is not beautiful oko emose oko emose War is not beautiful. I'm wearing this sackcloth this morning to sound the trumpet of warning. <laughs> 2021 is not going to be a beautiful year. It will only become beautiful when everybody rises up to stand in unity, to speak against evil in the land. 2021 is not going to be a beautiful year. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived by any prophecy. Don't be deceived. 2021 is not going to be a beautiful year. It's not going to be. It's not going to be. It will only be when the righteous wake up, when you and I rise up to say, no, Father, we stand against it. What we refuse to stand against will definitely stand against us. What we refuse to stand against will stand against us. I'm not celebrating any Christmas. I'm wearing sackcloth to let the people know that something is about to happen. The righteous will be saved. The righteous will be saved. The children of God will be delivered. I know. But the children of God must rise up in unity to say, Lord, no, we don't need it. We must put aside our individual religion or tradition or whatever it is, denominational differences, we must put them aside and come together to say no to what is about to happen in the history of Nigeria. Let those that have ear to ear, let them hear. Traditional rulers speak out. The chiefs speak out. The Christian re religious leader body speak out. And act now. Act now. When the war broke out, you won't go to church. You will even remember that you have big cathedral. The time to speak is now. God bless you. Have a blessed day.
I beg, help us share this video to friends and family. If you never subscribe to Dan ARG YouTube, try make you subscribe so that make you for day current with all the things where they happen for Nigeria. If you get anything to hard join with the Apostle Alfred, don't talk today. You feel put on for comment session. Make I leave you with this video, make you help us share on. Thank you for watching Dan ARG YouTube.